What's up? This is Squash2448 where American Truck Summer video. Today we'll be using this Peterbilt 389 Ultra Sleeper to haul a load of logs from here on to San Rafael, California. We'll be hopping here on the inside and we'll be turning this Peterbilt on. We are being paid just under 7,000 in-game dollars for today's haul and the load comes in at 68,900 pounds. Very heavy load of logs. We'll be changing our digital dash over to the digital speedometer to make it a bit easier easier and we'll be leaving here on I'm very excited to be back here in American Trucks and what amazing game and this is the first time we are hauling logs so this should be a bit interesting you guys can see pretty heavy but I mean this is one very nice looking Peterbilt also we are now leaving the headquarters now it looks like this is a pretty busy street you guys can see that there are bushes on that side kind of blocking our view so we'll kind of inch up just a little bit but we do not want to go too too far looks like we are good actually there's a bus coming we'll wait for that bus to go by but I'm excited to be back here in American Truck Sim. This is a really fun game that I really do like to play here on the channel every single Wednesday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I am using the Logitech G29 racing steering wheel here for this game. It does make it very realistic with the steering and I get to use the pedals which is pretty cool. Let me know if I should use those in Farming Slanger. I think that that will be a very nice thing to do. We are now kind of getting up to speed. This little kind of back road that goes along alongside the highway is 55 miles per hour which isn't that bad but you guys can see so far just take a look at that we do have the overside a load sign up front and a few flags which I don't think are needed but you guys can see almost pretty much full with logs which is nice and just around 70,000 pounds that is quite a lot of logs now over here to our right you guys can see a lot of windmills which is pretty cool I actually do have a few on the square farms map just take a look at that I think I might look into doing something cool like that maybe a little area with solar panels everything like that but you guys can see we are up now to just around 40 miles per hour and we are taking this right up here I'd like to thank each and every one of you for all of the continued support here on the daily videos. It's a ton of fun uploading to YouTube every single day with all of the different content I do upload. I upload a variety of farming simulator videos every single day at 6 a.m. and then different games for the second one of the day, which is pretty cool. I am currently looking into getting a few brand new games, so stay tuned for those. Those are going to be some pretty nice videos. Now you guys can see very narrow here. Take a look at the semi hauling a dump trailer. Came a little too close to us. And right up and over these little areas no problem whatsoever it actually looks like there's a gas station up here right before we get on the highway so I think we'll stop there and these roads I'm not thinking I it would be going 55 on I mean you guys can see very narrow and they are pretty tight for a giant truck like this hauling 70,000 pounds so we do have to be pretty careful and like I was saying guys I think we'll just kind of stop here for gas our employer will cover it I really do like just doing the quick jobs here it is a bit it, a more realistic especially because I really do like featuring different trucks in every single video different loads and this is the easiest way and pretty much the most realistic because you wouldn't buy a truck every week you will uh, work for different companies every single week which is what we are doing we'll pour We'll pull forward just a little bit here and we'll kind of fill up looks like 318 on diesel which is quite a lot. Different parts of the world and country do have different gas prices and uh, I might look into the going east DLC. That will be pretty cool. You guys can see we are turning this back on a total of $122.38. 0.36 gallons of diesel we got so that's quite a lot and we are all ready to go topped off for today's haul you guys can see we are good there looks like a dozer is being uh, hauled and then another load of logs well it looks like a lot of logs today if you guys would like to see more American Truck Simulator, let me know down below in the comments. I will be doing a Euro Truck Simulator very soon, which should be pretty cool. We will now be taking this left over here. You guys can see Ford Raptors. There's quite a few of them here. I actually did get a few realistic traffic mods. I really do like getting all these different mods here for the game. The game does allow them, which is also a big bonus. And you guys can see now we are just kind of getting down onto the highway, which is nice. And we'll kind of get up to 55. Now you guys can see a giant semi truck is coming and looks like he will be letting us over. Really do appreciate him. I mean, there was no way we would have been able to kind of go down to the breakdown line until he passed. So I really do appreciate him. But let's kind of get some cinematic shots here. Take a look at that, guys. 
one very nicely done. We actually haven't been to San Rafael before, so that's going to be pretty cool going there. Just take a look at this guy's doing a pretty good job hauling it. And this view, I will say, is a bit tricky to drive on, but we are doing a really good job. You guys can see up to just around 50 miles per hour, which is pretty fast. And you guys can see just a ton of different traffic, other semi-trucks. There have been a lot of coach buses lately, and take a look at that, guys. There's just no way we'll be able to slow down going 55, and he pretty much came to a complete stop. So... We are coming up here on quite a lot of traffic. Looks like we are not really dropping our speed, which is pretty nice. You guys can see that even the passing lane, the left lane, is even not really moving. So, I mean, just take off that, guys. There's a Ford Raptor in front of us. Volvo SUVs passing by. I really do like all of those. You guys can see some semi-trucks. And it could be just kind of this is a busy area since it's pretty close to Fr uh, San Francisco. But you guys can see, take off that. A semi-truck is getting off. Whoa, slowing down even more. Now we are down to kind of 33. So, whoa. We have really dropped our speed and now we are kind of gaining up. I believe that that semi truck kind of getting off uh, pretty much slowed a lot of us down. You guys can see, take off that. We are now trying to gain our speed back, but this Peterbilt looks awesome. I really do kind of like it here in bright red. It does stand out on the road. And you guys can see, just take a look at that. Very nice cinematic shots. I mean, some of these shots are pretty cool that uh, the game does give you, which is great. But now we do want to kind of switch back here since we are coming up here on it a uh, turn a little bit of a turn but sometimes it is a bit tricky from that camera view but we'll just continue down the road it looks like we'll be getting off the highway over here and we'll be taking a left so far the highway driving with this Peterbilt has been no problem doesn't even feel like we do have a load on the back which is nice but like I was saying guys that is just around 70,000 pounds in the back with all of those logs but you guys can see it looks like we will be taking this left no traffic over here which is a lot easier for us and we do have just around one hour left in today's haul so far so smooth just a few times we did run into quite a bit of traffic because of some slower trucks not really getting up to speed because of how heavy their load was but as you guys can see the speed limit here is 55 and I think that it'll be a pretty cool thing to kind of have your hands be on the steering wheel here in the game like an option to select that I think that that would be a pretty cool thing to do but at the same time I can see why you won't or this should be an option to kind of not show the wheel just because I am using a wheel and sometimes it is nice only to see the dash but as you guys can see we are kind of getting up to speed I am a little bit more to the right than what I should be but it's always nice to be a little bit closer over here than to the double yellow line but as you guys can see there's a ton of trucks coming which means that we have a lot of of uh, traffic coming up in head or a very busy town which should be no problem whatsoever but I really do enjoy playing this game like we're saying Euro Truck should be coming I will be trying to do one in there for all of those who do uh, see all of those trucks around but take a look at that Peterbilt Hall and Dump uh, trailer that's pretty cool a variety of semi trucks in this game and then the mods make this endless with all of the different trucks which is pretty cool you guys can see that we are just around a few miles per hour over the speed limit we actually just past the police officer no speed limit usually when you do pass them and whoa you guys can see a little bit over I do not want to go more than like two or three over just because I mean here in the game even going one to two you will get a speeding ticket but you guys can see take a look that we will be taking a right coming up and some of these roads I don't think are really meant to go 55 with a semi truck just because they're back roads and uh, you do not want to be taking one especially this heavy it looks like we are just about here take a look at all that traffic up there it looks like we are avoiding it very lucky for us to do plaster and sons we actually do uh, deliver quite a lot from them a little bit too close there take off that that semi truck did cause us a little bit of a problem a little bit close there once again but you guys can see take a look that guys well now we trying to go up and over this hill it looks like there's a lot of just semi trucks coming fast from this area so we do have to be pretty careful of them we'll try to stay as much as we can to the right just because they're giant vehicles we are a giant vehicle very wide very big and we can't really accelerate fast but like I was saying guys this Peterbilt really does does look awesome just take a look at that it looks like we'll be taking left 
coming up. And as you guys can see, take a look at that rest station. Looks like it's a pretty small one. And, and take a look at that, guys. There's a few campers over here, which is pretty cool. I think that it will be pretty cool for us to deliver some campers over to a dealership. Take a look at that, guys. There is a car coming, but we have time, and we are able to go, which is nice. You guys can see turning there. Take a look at that. Not really crossing the line, which was good. I mean, that was a bit tight because we did have a person there. But you guys can see the circle is here, which means that we are very close to it, which is nice. You guys can see a few SUVs passing by. I really just enjoy this game, even though it is a simulation on trucking. It's a great game still, and I do like featuring all of these different games here on the channel. And that has been the first time a vehicle has passed us here in the game. And I mean, we are pretty much going 40 miles per hour, and they really just passed us just so that they could go 50. Now, uh, it's dropping down to 40, so passing didn't really help them because now they have to drop down their speed, and we were pretty much going 40. Now, our destination is right over here to the right, which is pretty exciting. Take a look at that, guys. We have arrived here, which is nice. We'll take it a little bit wider just because we do have a pretty wide load, and there we go. We'll kind of stop right over here, see where they would do want to drop it off at. We'll pull forward just a little bit, and the message should come up. Here it is. Now we'll press enter, and I think we'll try to do the harder one. It, it shouldn't be that hard, though, which is going to be pretty nice. Take a look at that. It looks like we will kind of come around here. Actually, is it inside of the building? It looks like it is on the inside, so, I mean, we could potentially kind of drive through it, but I really do not want to do it. We should be able to turn around here, though, and backing into a building is going to be a bit tricky because we cannot hit it at all. Anything like that damage it. You guys can see uh, backing up in first person is a bit tricky. But I think that I really do want to kind of learn more on how to do it here. It is a bit trickier uh, seeing it and just watching it through your mirrors. But I really do want to give it a try. We'll hop out here to the uh, third person view. Like I was saying, I would definitely try it but off camera just because we don't want this to take too, too long. But you guys can see uh, we'll definitely be threading the needle, if you would so call it here, with this load. And we might be able to do this on our first try. That would be pretty cool. I am turning the wheel quite a bit. And I just really do enjoy using the wheel. Looks like we are good over there. We actually have to angle it a little bit more and whoa take a look at that guys first try we'll be able to do it take a look at that I mean pretty tricky especially backing in inside of a building one of the first times we had to do that and you guys can see pretty close here on this side trying to get a little bit further away but we can't get the semi truck too, too close and there we have it looks like we are here just on the line there we go, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed today's American Trucks and Later video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and subscribe for more.